Hello, Hi, uh, it's, it's good to be here. It's good to be anywhere. It's quite depressing at home. Uh, Mum's got Ebola. <laughs> a bowl of rice bubbles. She loves breakfast cereal. So, oh, good stuff. Hey, 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 do you see that one coming? <laughs> no, but seriously, she is dying. <laughs> uh, uh, dying people's hair. Uh, she's uh, trying to have a new career choice. <laughs> uh, she, she actually she used to work in a licorice factory. I said, what kind of licorice do you make? She said, all sources. And to be a bit more to the point. Uh, yeah. No, but in all serious, uh, all seriousness, uh, my mum is dead. <laughs> dead tired of me making these jokes. She's a really messy woman. All right. Okay, so what you've just experienced is uh, melting the ice. You know, a lot of comedians come out, they like to break the ice, yeah, and be warm. Break the ice. And I think it's a bit violent. I like to melt it. You know, just come out like, uh, like I've got a heater in my hands, or just a heavy breathing antelope, and just kind of, just get on the ice. Because what would you prefer? Would you prefer someone to come out and, like, bash a piece of ice to get to get to death or just slowly melt it and then maybe at the end we can go for a little swim and uh, what's left I don't know yeah uh, so uh, do you hear uh, Zane from One Direction he's left he's left oh no <laughs> He's left, yeah, no, but um, I've seen like fans are, are cutting themselves over this. Like, have you heard about this? It's like, um, hashtag uh, cut for 1D, right? <laughs> yeah, no, this is an actual thing. This is not a joke. <laughs> like, this is mental. And uh, yes, all Kazanes left the band. And I saw this, right? I saw this and it got me thinking, it got me wondering, it got me asking myself, are you in Zane? Oh, I just made a pun. Just made a pun. Coming out to another pun. All right. Uh, um, sex. Uh, it's a bit confusing. Uh, I. Uh, I think sex and origami are quite similar. <laughs> like, I know what it is. I've heard about it. But if I had to do it, the result would probably leave you unsatisfied. <laughs> No, but you can, I, I find them quite confusing, like, uh, I could confuse the two. You know, Blake, I know what you're thinking. How can you confuse sex and origami? So I'm going to tell you, uh, the first way you can confuse sex and origami is, uh, yeah, you're getting down to business, and uh, next thing you do, you turn around, to back a swong. <laughs> That's a bit weird. <laughs> or, the other way you can confuse it is you just get a paper cut on your cock. <laughs> so sex and origami, uh, yeah. Don't confuse the two, I, I'm just joking. Uh, sex doesn't confuse me. <laughs> I know what sex is, I know what it is two to three times a week. <laughs> Watch a lot of porn. Uh, <laughs> see, also in the news recently, uh, the, uh, the plane that went into uh, the mountain. Like the pilot locked the co-pilot out of uh, the cockpit and it just went into the mountain. And I, and I saw this, right? And it got me wondering, it got me thinking, it got me asking myself, are you insane? <laughs> I call back uh, two for one, two jokes for uh, one punchline. Uh, <laughs> moving on, um, I do have a girlfriend now, actually. Uh, round of applause. Yeah. Thank you very much. My girlfriend is actually the one that says she plays with Ouija boards when she was a toddler. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> you know, I've got a girlfriend now and she stayed over. Uh, I look at my mum because I'm 17. Yeah, uh, stayed over for the first time and I realised um, she's terrible in bed. And she went straight to sleep. <laughs> Didn't work, all right, doesn't matter. All new material right here, all new material. <laughs> yeah, so i got a girlfriend. Uh, uh, what's next? Moving on. Uh, Tony Abbott, uh, our Prime Minister. Tony Abbott, I saw him on the TV the other day, and I just couldn't have a thing. Like, this guy is an incompetent, narrow-minded, dumbo-looking, Forrest Gump-talking, good advice-giving uh, dickhead who kind of, like, he has the social skills of a foreign koala bear, and when I say that, I don't mean, like, he's cute and cuddly, and when he talks, uh, we go, oh, this guy. Kind of funny. We don't know that. What I mean by that is he's hairy, he's scary, he's suspicious, and he should be in a fucking zoo enclosure. <laughs> so when I saw him on the TV doing this random bullshit he does, it, it, it got me thinking, it got me wondering, it got me asking myself. This guy, insane. Uh, good stuff. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>